Okay, so I've got a little Arduino that I'm programming up um, here on the computer and it's um, controlling the slot down here. When this thing turns on, this is my fuel controller, so when this turns on, um, it's a bit bright, but you can see it's got uh, a little eight segment display down there, which is green and uh, showed eight bars that were indicating the full, um, the full fuel tank. Um, now then, we've got a set of buttons here that will mount to my dash. And this black one is the mode button. Everything gets done through this one. So if I push it, um, I can bring it out of sleep mode. This is at sleep mode. It sort of does that little uh, breath every 10 seconds or so. Just anyway, if I push the, um, if I push this, it'll bring it out of sleep mode. It'll show me the, um, the fuel level. And if I want to start pumping, then I don't want to ever press this or, or, or activate my pump by accident. So I've made it so I've got to push this button currently six. I don't know whether that's going to be too many, but currently six times. And um, as I go through it, it's progressing the lit count of LEDs up. It's a bit bright there, but um, that's currently showing four whites and two reds. And as I keep pressing, it goes up in the count. So when I hit the, the full um, count of six, then uh, it starts pumping. So this is the pump indicator. You can see here on this little relay, that light there is indicating that um, that it's currently uh, <coughs> will have turned the pump pump on. <coughs> it cycles through um, a couple of modes here. Um, so this is just the indicator to say the pump is actually on. It's pumping. Then it's got the fuel level. Then it's got a time remaining. So on that second um, second indication, not this one, that's the first. On this one here, it's currently showing uh, five white blocks, which indicates the length of time remaining on the pump. It's set to pump for um, two and a half minutes. So each one of those little indicators there indicates 30 seconds remaining. And it's currently got one blue, four, four white, and then followed by one blue. So as the time goes down, the whites get replaced by blues, indicating that we've got some time remaining. <coughs> okay, now then, the um, <clears throat> the fuel indicator, the one that's coming up and showing uh, with all those uh, bright greens, um, that's triggered by the fuel sender in the tank, and the fuel sender is mocked up here by these two um, potentiometers. So as I wind these down, that will be the same as the fuel in the fuel tank decreasing so <clears throat> pretty soon we'll see slightly less green okay so the green is Currently dropping. Okay, so we're now down to um, six out of eight bars, which is now showing as um, like an orangey color. Now down to five out of eight bars, which is still orange. Well, actually, sorry, that's yellow. I knock it down a little bit more it'll go proper orange and this blue indi pump indicating thing now is showing us that it's actually within the final um, 30 seconds of the pump right okay so there's that orange color as the pump goes down all right now a lot of these timeouts are quite short but um when when it get set for real use i'll increase the timeouts it's just that when you're testing those timeouts can be your real mission when you're trying to test through this right so let's go and let's get this pumping again <laughs> okay so it's starting to pump this time i'm going to knock the the fuel level right down so we're going to see what happens when it starts pumping and it gets low in the augs tank at the back there Okay, so we're down to red. We're, we're down to two bars out of eight right now in terms of fuel remaining. Just gonna knock it down a bit more. Probably try and get to, there's one bar remaining. 
Okay, now when it senses empty, which is, I've just pushed it to the empty uh, level on those there now, the full red one, and you can see the pumping indicator now is showing red. What this, what this has done is it will now cut the pumping time short, even though it would have had two and a half minutes now. It'll pump for 20 seconds <coughs> and then it will stop. So by the time it hits empty, um, we, we don't really want it to, um, to carry on pumping for very long. So this is the fuel indicator as a, at an empty state, full red, and now it's gone back to sleep. Now, if I do want to try and squeeze every single little last piece of little drop of fuel out of my AUX tank, I can go through and set it pumping again. And that's a power cut. But anyway, this is running on uh, USB off my um, laptop, so it'll carry on. Um, so yeah, I can force it to do another 20 seconds worth of final pump just to get that um, that last bit of fuel out. Oh, we've got power back in it. Yes, we've still got power, so that was just a flick. <coughs> anyway, um, in a nutshell, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it. So the fuel, the fuel pump. Oh, the other thing I'm, I haven't mentioned yet is while it's pumping, if I touch and hold that button again, then I can turn it off straight away, and it will alert me with that white 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 flash 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 that it's turning the pump off so here's activating the pump through six presses now it's um now it's going through it's hang on one two three four five hang on one two there we go okay so it's pumping again now And it stopped. Yeah, so you can see the the green light on that on the right hand side there indicates when the um, when the pump is is active or not. So that's that that's an example of the short pump when it's actually empty at the back. All right. Well, this has been a fun, a fun little Arduino project, um, and obviously it's got some real application for me here. Um, as well. So, looking forward to putting this into use, and looking forward to this thing looking after me with the um, with the org fuel tank at the back. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Really quite looking forward to it. All right.